my girlfriend's dog went up, Pitbull, and was very friendly to children. And he said, he said, is that dog all right? And I said, she's great with kids. He goes, I'll eat that dog if he touches my kid. And I, I got it. And she goes, oh, John, stop it. But he's a guy who's ready to fight and dealing with a lot of energy. See, I like the, see that. There's no, yeah. there, it's I'll very black and white. And I Be get like, it. hey, I'm so crazy. I will eat your dog and fuck you up if that dog yeah, bites my kid. That I understand. Because you know why? With when, If you guys don't have kids, you understand. When something like that happens with your child, yeah. the sense of fury, you do not have the vocabulary to express no. how down you are to fuck anything and anyone up if something harms that kid. That's right. So when he went, I, I will eat that dog, I get it. Yes. I, I yes. 100% And he get would it. have eaten it, and I would do the same. Every single morning when I run, there, there's some bold biker goes, Get on the right path. Every <laughs> Didn't you have time. a guy try to fight you or, or kind of stop? And- I sure did. <laughs> I sure did. I'm going to take his bike and throw it into the sand. Wait, what happened? He was, ju- he was just being a dick in, in full gear. I'm like, uh, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be a dick. You getting ready for a tour de France or something? Why are you in all in one uniform? That bothers me too. Why do you have a camel back on? That, that bugs me. Hey, I got an idea. They're up out in the wilderness. He goes, how about I pull your pants down and I fuck you in, in the ass? And the guy goes, excuse me? He goes, I'll pull your pants down. I'm going to fuck you against that rock. And his girlfriend, his girlfriend was like, goes, what? Girl, she was like, whoa, no. whoa, what's going on? And uh, Babe, are you gay? Yeah, and she's, she's, no, it's, right. I'm trying to be tough. Right. Right. Are you gay as shit? You know what the, no, 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 I'm, 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 I'm going to show him who's boss. Do you know what the guy hey, said? Hey, man, you want to suck my dick? <laughs> Babe, stop. No, I don't want to see him suck your dick. No, I'm trying to make a point right. here. And you know, you know what my friend said? Uh, you, know, hey, you know what the guy said bo- to my hey, friend? look at me. The boy's gay. Well, well, he, when he gets mad, he's, he'll fuck you. And he's, we a, boys get he's a big guy. And you know what the guy looked at him and said? The guy I'll looked at him and goes, dick. no, the guy goes, the guy didn't know what to do because the guy, you know, my friend's big. And he goes, I'm 48 years old. Cowboy tie, cowboy hat, oh, boy. leather cowboy hat. Boy. How guys were like, how in element, this is element. Well, the only thing missing hey, is a cock in your is, mouth at that is, point. This is fifth grade. This yeah. is fifth grade. Yeah. And I cut off baggy jean shorts. Sure. Not short jean shorts. I didn't no, want to no, no. get fucked. Should have. I had long <laughs> jean shorts. The short shorts ones would have gone better. But long yeah, jean yeah. shorts. And then you ready for this? Then Jordan on my feet. Yeah. I was like the Pharrell of fifth grade. Oh, yeah. And I showed up and I swear to God, kids were like, we were playing basketball. I'm like, no, no. Yeah, 100%. No. They're like, you can't play. I'm like, I, I don't understand why I can't play. Like, well, you have a cowboy hat on and a silk shirt yeah. to start. I went, you see the Jays though, right? Yeah. You're dressed like a giant piece of candy and then you know i did the next day mm. wore my cleats I was like, we'll see what's up at recess when there's only one ball it's thursday football oh boy we're gonna see who's making fun of the kid in the silk shirt oh boy did some work you did some work because you could cut you could cut i could play some ball and then there were my friends like all right you're well you're obviously clearly gay probably but yeah we'll just so you're accept and, and you. for the record though you're 100 straight i think so okay i'm like tom ford straight Oops. Oops, what's that? I'm moving to Seattle. Ooh, I'm full-blown gay. Oops. Why did Brendan move to Seattle? Because he said rain makes him gay. Oops. A little tequila. And so I was like, she was like, huh, huh, huh. you know, careful with the girl who's drunk because she's going to be all. Huh, huh, yeah, huh. careful with the package. Forgot about my tooth. Huh, huh. Oh. Yeah, it was an issue. It was an issue. Well, that buns me out. Um, what if they have long nails, mm-hmm. calluses? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I've phones. had that. The girl with calluses? From, you know, from every girl's in the CrossFit out. now, right? Bitch, why are you doing power clean and fucking snatches and you mm. have freaking calluses all over your hand? Yeah, careful with my dong. You know what I'm saying? It ain't a barbell, right? It ain't a barbell, it's not the uh, the gas on a motorcycle. A water moccasin versus a water snake. So the moccasin is venomous. The water snake is not. And people oftentimes misidentify a venomous snake for a non-venomous snake. They look similar though, yeah. They really, really do. And we try to educate people about the differences, why you want to never try to handle any snake, but why you want to identify them properly. So people aren't out there trying to kill these animals. You don't need to be afraid of them. You just need to respect what they are. And if we can get an educational episode out of not catching this giant turtle, and what, that episode's done around 10 million views? Amazing. Which we would have never guessed. We got this great like 11 minute adventure episode and had so much fun searching the swamps for these snakes. And you always get something. We don't ever show up to a location and get skunked. We may not get what we were after, 
but we always manage to come up Can you tell something. the difference between a water moccasin and a, and, a, and a water snake at a glance? Absolutely. I could probably tell you blindfolded. You're an expert. You just let me like You're an expert. Yeah. <laughs> That's like saying, can you uh, say We should have brought can, some in and we could have asked that'd you be cool. to tell Water moccasins, are, are they as poisonous as a rattlesnake? Uh, well, they're venomous. That's that's another misconception that you have to know. There's venom and there's poison, and snakes are venomous. So venom is injected into your system through like fangs or a stinger, okay. right? And venom acts much differently than poison. And water moccasins mm. are not as toxic as some of the rattlesnake species we have here in the United States, but it's it's enough so that it's all how your body reacts to venom, right? So you could be bitten by something venomous and, and really be okay if you didn't go to the doctor. Now, we always recommend if you're bitten by something, Give seek me an example medical of attention. Like, like, like rattlesnake or water moccasin, you could be okay? Potentially. You, you could. I have friends that I know, experts that have been bitten by Western diamondbacks, which have some of the most toxic mm. venom in the United States, and they've just waited out to see how their body reacts. Now, you Was know, it a dry bite maybe? They didn't have as much venom? No. Nope. Uh, mm. There can be a dry bite, which is good that you know that, but you never know a dry bite. You can never be too okay. careful. You, you always got to always got to seek help. And as soon as your arm starts swelling up, you know that venom has entered your system. It's just a matter of, is your body going to be able to fight that off? Wow. Like I was bitten by a Gila monster, not intentionally. And it is the worst pain I have ever experienced. Really? More than the trash. You're, you're a big guy. I feel like a, a Gila monster may put you on the ground. Oh, I want no part of that. Yeah. No, no, no. They, Nobody, they're full, they're, they have like ooze out of their mouth. They yeah, look the, like a comic book lizard. Well, well, one thing, because they, they say that only a fool uh, is bitten by a Gila monster. monster. I, I didn't, it, first of all, I pronounced it Gila monster, but Gila, but they. But if correct me if I'm wrong, their their fangs are in the back of their mouth, are they not? Uh, no, their Poison fangs in their mouth, are yeah. all through. They don't have fangs; they have teeth. They're like razor blades, and they're turned backwards, Oof. right? So imagine your hand going into a bear trap, and it's like a bulldog. It mm-hmm. is like the bulldog of the lizard world. Um, they don't let go, and the thing is, Oof. you aren't pulling it off. The problem with all of this is that I get this feeling that I have to like, before I die. I have to have the Coyote Peterson experience. I got to put my Is arm. It, I, I feel we like can, I can I go today. Arm. We can have an adventure today if you today guys want you can to. Get that. I'm, I, I feel like so I'm crazy. Coyote, do you deal with this all the time? Like, because I, I feel like people watch it. Go, oh, I would do that. I'm like, would you? Yeah. Would you? Because same thing when people go, I could beat that guy up in the octagon. Could you? <laughs> would you actually do it? If someone gave you a contract, would you jump in there and do it? You know what I would. So love? I feel like every every male goes. I would do that. I guarantee you, if that tarantula hawk is in that container going, did you bounce off the walls? You would go, forget this. I'm already nervous. I'm already <laughs> nervous thinking I about would it. not do it. And by the way, what's funny is that you chose to do the fleshy, the, the kind of like tender part of your forearm. Mm-hmm. For me, if, if you were to say, Brian, it, there are two places there's no way I'm going to get stung. For whatever reason, the end of my big toe yeah. and my fingertip. Right. And of course, uh, the, areas the neck my, would hurt too. The neck, yeah, the the neck, neck would the hurt. The neck? The neck would hurt. The ne- the, your finger? I'll take the neck over, the, take over the my finger. toe. I'll take the neck over I'll my toe. I'll take the finger really? all day. Not me. The neck? <laughs> Are you kidding me? A tarantula hawk on your neck? I guess that would be bad. We maybe we should shoot this episode. Like we can we can get on a plane tonight and go to Arizona and find Dude, a Dude, it ain't would, happening. Would you do it? No. No. No, that's not for me. It's not I don't me. do well with they, they probably have a broker, a tarantula hawk broker. Yeah. Uh, if you guys can find a tarantula hawk broker, let me know. They're going to save us a lot of time and, and pain and agony in Arizona. Brian knows on a guy. Yeah. I, got a, I know a guy, but I wonder if— Do you if, get that all the time, though? Guys going, dude, I, I want to get bit by an alligator. This, like, I would love to do that. Uh, not not that often. A lot of people that would be like, oh, I, I think I could do, could do that. And it's not that we I'm not saying want. I could. Right. I'm, I'm just saying that I have a—there's I, I there's a nagging— I feel the challenge clearing its throat in the back of my mind. Is it like the Mount Everest thing? No, I've never had never had an interest. That's a good, very good question. It's not even that. It's maybe it's because I yeah, maybe it's because it feels it's I'm intensely afraid of it. It feels like it'd be so uncomfortable, but I just want to do it. I would almost do it in private to see if I could. I kind of want to. I want to experience that experience that bright, brilliant pain. Yeah. You know, other fight. You know, I've always been scared to fight. As far as scared, like always been like, God, I hope, I hope, you know, because I was so scared to lose because I felt a lot of pressure. But um, there's, there, you know, you look at the the Roy Nelson fight, um, the Crow Cop fight, um, Chase Gormley. I was so nervous because in front of my home home crowd, and I felt like if I lost that fight, I wouldn't have a career at all. And it was right after I lost to Roy. Um, it just depends on the fight, man. There's times where I was excited, for sure. And happy. Happy, happy happy's a tough... I, you know what? On the ultimate fighter, I was happy uh, uh, to fight. 
because ignorance is bliss, right? Because I didn't, I didn't, I've never experienced the, the, the fighting is all about peaks and valleys. I've never experienced those valleys. It's all, I fight, I win. I fight, I win. (laughs) Similar with Rana. She fights, she wins. She fights, she wins. When you lose, that's when you find out what exactly the sport is about. When you when you're winning, it's like, oh my god, this is great, yeah, isn't it? You could be playing anything. You could be golf, bowling. Think about anything you've ever done. When you're good at it and you're constantly winning, like, dude, this is the best thing ever. And then when you lose, think of a video game where you think if you're playing a video game and you constantly were losing, like, fuck this game. I don't what. Mm. Now in fighting, think of you know if you're always winning, like hell yeah, this is awesome, man. And then when you lose, you're like, oh my god, this sucks. And that's fighting. There's no higher highs. There's no lower lows. It, it is the loneliest gig in the world.